Who is Rowan trying to call me now? Let us see this guy. Are you a Muslim? We have, maybe we have a fish. I don't know. We will see. Let us see. Ah, oh, he's saying he's a Jewish. Okay, that would be interesting. Let us call him. <clears throat> oh, you don't want to talk. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello, my friend. You're live on air. Go ahead. How are you, brother? How's everything going? I'm fine. So you're a Jewish? Yeah, yeah, I'm Jewish. No, oh. I wanted to say hi and thank you for being a good friend. Well, I am uh, happy to have you. Uh, are you from the state or you are from Israel? I am I used to live in Israel. But All right. Now I moved back. What do you think about the Muslims trying to divide the Christians and the Jews to make us hate each other so they can win? Um, I think it's not something that's new to the world. I think it's something that's happened since the days of uh, their prophet. Right. Uh, that they've been doing doing things like that. Um, yeah, I don't think it's something relatively new, to be honest. Yeah. Do you do you think uh, that the, the the Israeli now they understand how important it is to have the Christian support with them? Uh, I think they need every support they can get, to be honest, because Muslims, if they want to take over any country any religion they have the ability to do that and the world needs to wake up right and the world needs to to get together to fight against it i agree well my friend i'm glad to have you and i wish you can invite more jewish people to join us here so they can learn and we don't have uh, like you know a generation of stupid people who do not know who's their enemy the first step to have a victory is to know who is your enemy and who's your friend correct of course, yeah. Yeah, and this is what we need to spread education. If you notice in the last, uh, uh, you know, uh, few years, how the, you know, especially the young generation, they are very awkward and they understand the word wrongly. And now they are stupid to the point. They think that Israeli is the one is bad and uh, the terrorist is the one who is the good ones. And this is happening only because we are not doing our part and we are not involved like we get involved only when something bad happened like now but then after that we go and relax and then yeah. the propaganda of the then muhammadan the again. yeah they will take over the problem again everyone wakes up yeah so you have you have to keep going in this way to to warn the the young generation and actually i don't know if you have a connection with the with the government of israel I have actually I have I have a rank a high rank officer in from Israel contacted me I didn't answer him yet. The Israeli you notice in this war that maybe they like they have a strong army, they have a powerful army, but they have a very weak media. Even the army media is hilarious. I mean, one guy in YouTube can do way better than what they do. So. You know, you have like a Department of Defense, you have department section for media, and then you see the guy of the media wearing a uniform, he have a tablet in his hand, his voice is not clear, the the, the graphic behind him meanless, uh, what he's saying doesn't make any, you know, different. So they they need to change the way, and they, they, they need to stand for the media to be in contact always with people around the world, not only in the time of problems, all the time you have to explain who you are and you have to show the world what they are doing to you and now because all those stupid i call them trashy liberal who they have no idea what's going on and the media of the muslims controlling everything the muslim they own big part of most of tv stations in the west sky news is owned by emirate uh, even Murdoch, he is a partner with with the with the with Qatar, uh, 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 Jazeera. I mean, they have endless numbers of newspapers. Yeah. They are fueling the world against Israel. And what the Israeli have, nobody. 
They have yeah. zero, zero media. Actually, if you look in the media, you see Israeli, they focus much in Hebrew, which nobody speaks except them. But they, they, you know, they didn't have a really strong TV stations in English to compete with CNN and Fox News and Al Jazeera. You will notice that the Arab words, who they are supposedly not the educated, not the smartest, they have TV stations in yeah. many languages, even like Russia, they have uh, RT in many languages, but the only country have no TV in any languages, that is Israel. So, mm -hmm. so I, I, I want to uh, use your call to maybe you can warn them about the big mistake they are making by not taking care of the media. The media is a very powerful weapon. Hamas now are fighting you by the garbage of the West. Yep, yep. And the issue is, there's all the people who prior to the war, who all the Jewish people who thought that uh, the Palestinians, when I say the Palestinians, I mean the majority of them, the majority of them are very good and they deserve rights. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't agree with you. I mean, I mean, a lot of the kids. What I no, mean, no, 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 no. You see, I, 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 you see, for me, I'm not politically, politically correct. When they say to you, OK, I will go with you. So you are a, you are a Jew. You support Israel. Wonderful. But look what you just said. Hold on. I say, yeah. Go ahead. What do you want to say? I, I don't think I support so much so Israel. I support the people in general. I don't. You don't support Israel. Israel. You don't. You don't support Israel. Why you don't support Israel? Let me, let me clarify. Just to clarify. clarify. Okay. I, I support Israel as a state to exist. Obviously. Okay. When I say I don't support Israel. I don't always support the government. I believe they should do a lot of stuff better. I believe, for example, right, that they shouldn't treat terrorists. To come and invade into the country and give them free hospital. I believe they shouldn't even do that. They should give them far less rights. Okay. Uh, so you don't agree with things government can do. I agree with you. But in the same time, you just said that you think uh, uh, the most of people, uh, the Palestinian, most of them, they are good. What does that mean? Sure. So when I say the Palestinian people, I mean not the regular army. I mean the average person. Okay, hold on. Like you see, here, here I see that you are under the influence of the Muslim medias. Why? And even the Israeli media. They are, you know, they say silly stuff. Uh, the day Hamas invade Israel and they killed 1,400 and then they kidnap children even eight months old. Where are the civilians in Gaza dancing in the street, giving baklava and candies? Yes or no? Yeah, I'd say some of them. But oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I never saw one of them is not dancing. Well, what do you mean some of them? What do you mean? All of them, they were praising Allah. Everybody, not only people in Gaza, all Muslims in the world, they were praising Allah for victory. So now what we do, instead of saying things as it is, we sugarcoat the garbage of, of Islam. And now we claim that there is a bad people and good people. Hamas is bad and the civilian, but who is the civilian of, of Gaza? They are the one who, they are Hamas. The, the Hamas are born from Gaza. They are not important from Russia. Those are the children of people of Gaza, correct? Do you know what? I made a mistake. You're correct. All right. Uh, uh, like, uh, to make it more clear for you, you saw the hospital they are using, the hospital for hostages, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you think not a single civilian who hate Hamas will call the Israeli says, hey, hey, listen, those criminals, they have the hostages here. I give you the address. Yeah, of course not. They don't care. No, but no, no, no. It's not about they don't care. They are protecting Hamas. And that is a proof, yeah, that is a proof because not a single one of them knows and saw and witnessed what Hamas is doing. I mean, they live between them. They are their children, they are their cousins, they are their brothers, they are their wives. Not a single one of those so-called civilians saw where the witnesses are to call the Israeli. If I am a civilian and I see a drug, a, a, a drug neighbor, a drug dealer, ah, I will call the police because you know, you know what? This is a criminal. He should not be here. But they don't see them as a criminals. So what the media and us, sadly, we do, we sugarcoat. And we saw the videos made by the Israeli army. We need to remember we are against Hamas. We are not against the people of Gaza. I find this video very stupid because it's not true. Hamas is the people of Gaza. And the people of Gaza is Hamas. Okay, if we ask somebody, I will assume that you are now a liberal, not a, even a Jew. If I ask you, where is Hamas now? What you will say? In Gaza, right? Yes, fast, yeah. Okay. Everywhere in Gaza, fast. Okay. Hamas in Gaza. Okay. 
we're in Gaza. In Gaza, there is houses, there's mosques, there's schools, there's hospitals, and there's streets, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, who is in the street? Civilians. Okay, now let's go back to zero. Who is in Gaza? Where is Hamas? They are in Gaza. Okay. Where in Gaza? What, what we have in Gaza? We have hospitals. We have houses. We have streets. We have schools. Okay. Now, where is Hamas? In Gaza. Okay. What in Gaza? We have hospitals. We have schools. We have houses. We have mosques. Okay. That means Hamas is Gaza. Because they are in everywhere in Gaza. They are in the schools. They are in the hospitals. They are in the houses. They are in the street. They are in the mosque. And then they say to you, those are civilians. Well, the civilians, they don't join criminals in the time of war if they see them as criminals. They protect them only if they see them as heroes. So the hypocrite world today, or let us say, other side, you know, the ones who they are under the influence of false media, they start saying civilian, civilian, civilian. But reality is, none of them is civilians. Even Hamas, by the way, are civilian, just to let you know, because they don't wear a uniform mostly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Same, same time now, like when they asked the civilian to leave, so called yeah. civilians, the there's, many of Hamas. Many Many Hamas, they took off their clothes and they left their clashing cough and they go with the civilians. So it's a joke, I mean, with the civilians. So, you know, like when in, in the hypocrisy, in, it's amazing. When the American, they knew Hiroshima, was it civilian or every day was an army? When, when they fought Hitler, did they, I mean, flat even Berlin? Berlin became rubbish and became just trash and thousands and thousands of people died. When Hitler, he bombed, the West, he bombed France, he bombed England, etc. Did they bury cities by itself, you know, destroy cities? So what those people are talking about, so when they want, they protect civilians. Saddam Hussein, he killed thousands of Kurdish Muslims by chemical weapon. How come the Muslims, they did not see civilian then? Syria, Hezbollah itself killed hundreds of thousands in Syria. Where is was those people striking in the street against killing civilians? So. The whole world is and when, false. And when the Shia and when the Shia got killed by all the Sunnis, no exactly, one cares. exactly, and exactly, exactly. So, so us. let us not to yeah. say what they say, and not to say civilian good guy and bad guy. You know, the one who fund terrorist is a terrorist. The one who host terrorist is a terrorist. The one who support terrorist, even in YouTube, is a terrorist, because terrorism without supporters is not exist. So let us say the terrorists are the fruit of the support. So can we say that the poison tree, only the fruits is the problem or the poison tree is the problem? Mm. The yeah, poison. Yes. It's the tree who yeah. gave poison. So the society, all of it is poison. The whole society hate the Jews. And all the talk in the media about peace and peace talk, excuse my language, it's a piece of shit. Because simply this will never exist unless you change the ideology and the ideology of Muslims around the world. All of them, they want to finish and every single Jew. All, and they all emanate from the prophet the same way a tree comes from the beginning of the tree exactly right? so you wanna you wanna you wanna you wanna convince yourself that there is a good guy and bad guy that doesn't work because this is a religion teaching hate against you a Pakistani guy he want to kill you why what a Pakistan have to do is he from Gaza no Indonesian guy want to kill you why Okay, you're so a Muslim, and just because, ex exactly. So let us not to say there's good people in Gaza and there's bad people in Gaza, and you know, Gaza is Gaza, and every single one of them praise Hamas. That is the truth. Same time, Muslims, all of them, they follow what Muhammad said. A Muslim is somebody believing in Islam and what Muhammad said. A Christian is somebody believing in what Jesus said and he practiced what Jesus said. As simple as that. Not somebody his name is George or somebody named his name is a Christian. He is a person who believe and he follow. So a Muslim is someone believing in what Muhammad said, which he said time will come and he will fight the Jews. And if a Jew he hide behind a tree or a rock, the tree and the rock will say, hey, 
there's a Jew behind me, kill him. So they hate you not because you are in Israel, they hate you because you are a Jew. 